Let's take a look at the legacy UVs for Genesis 9 from Genesis 3, 8 and 8.1 females coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Jay and on this channel we're helping you become better 3D artists with DAS Studio. Let me show you a fantastic new product that appeared today on the marketplace, which is the legacy UVs for Genesis 9 for the Genesis 3, 8 and 8.1 females. This is a product by Cayman Studios, who has a long-standing record of these types of products and I'll take you through how this works. If you already know this series of products and you know exactly what to expect, in case you don't, this is the video for you. Now, this product makes it possible to use your existing Genesis 8 and 3 and 8.1 texture maps on the new Genesis 9 figure. It does this not by converting the textures, it does this by using a combination of new UVs as well as geographs to make them appear correctly on the new figure. This is a great example of the Victoria 8.1 with tattoos on the new Genesis 9 figure. And it's a little fiddly to get going and I thought I'll talk you through it uh, so that you can do this with your own characters. I've got a Genesis 9 figure loaded in. They don't have any textures applied right now. And I've decided I'm going to go and apply the Monique 8 textures on them. So here she is, Monique, which is a Genesis 8 figure. So the first thing that we're going to need to do is we're going to have to save out, or usually we have to save out this material preset as a regular material preset. Usually on most figures, and Monique is no exception, they will come with what's known as hierarchical material presets. So this here, if I double click this, then this is going to apply the Monique textures on the Genesis 8 figure. And it'll work because a hierarchical material preset expects, well, a certain hierarchy to be in place. And when we apply that to the Genesis 9 figure, it's not going to work. So we need something that doesn't say H materials. And that is best done by selecting your figure and then either using this plus icon here or using the file save as option. And then we're going to go and save this as a material preset. Set. So this is the other one here, the hierarchical material preset. That's not what we want. We want a regular one. I'm going to use my little plus icon here so I can access this from the content library here. And I'll call it Monique 8 Mat. All of this I want to save. That's exactly what I want to do. And now I can go and either delete the Monique figure or just make her invisible. That's probably going to be the easiest thing to do for now. I'm going to make my Genesis 9 figure visible. And now I'm going to go and run the script by Cayman Studios. So this comes as multiple little scripts really that we have to run. And the easiest way to find that in the Smart Content tab is by just looking through all products up to legacy. And there it is. This is the product. Double click it. And under Utilities, we're going to find several of these little scripts here. This is the one that we're going to have to run first that prepares our Genesis 9 figure with the relevant geographs and the new UV sets that we're going to need. And then these three scripts here, they will apply either a Genesis 3 UV set, 8 UV set or 8.1 UV set. They don't just switch the UV sets, they do other exciting things that is especially important when we use Genesis 8.1 characters. But I'll talk you through it. This one I don't think we need. And then there's these two little helper tools here that will add all these things to the toolbar or remove them from the toolbar. I might just go and do that, double click this, and then you'll see those little things appear up here. So that is now easy for me. I don't have to go back into this product every time I want to use it. I can just run this from the toolbar here. So here's the first one that we're going to need to run. I'm going to go and click that. And that will now go and prepare my Genesis 9 figure. Uh, they're going to look a little weird now, but that's okay. That's also probably because I'm in filament. Let me go switch this over to texture shaded. It, well, it still looks weird. That's cool. So we can see the geograph and we can see some other funky things that have happened here. That's okay. I'm going to leave everything in place, go back to my content library, and I'm going to go and load the material preset onto Genesis 9 that I've just saved out from my previous figure. Double click that and we'll see after a second or so that things don't look exactly right. I mean, what's going on here? There's white bits and it's this all, this is all just weird. Uh, that's also okay. That's also fine because that's where that next script comes in. So my character was based on Genesis 8. So that means I need to run the dark purple script here. Green is Genesis 3. The purple one is Genesis 8 and the kind of lilac one, the lighter purple one is for Genesis 8.1. We're going to run that with Genesis this is nine still selected and then boom, all my materials are now being shifted into the correct spots here. 
So under the hood, if you're interested in how this works, if you were to go to the Surfaces tab and then go and select your Genesis 9 figure on the Surfaces, select all of these things, if you type in UV at the top here, then you'll see that currently a new UV set has been applied. There's a lot in here already. The base multi udem is the regular UV set for the Genesis 9 figure. There's also a single udem tile and there's these two things as older versions. They were used during the development of Genesis and they were updated just shortly before release. So we're not going to ever use those anymore. They're probably going to disappear at one point. Then we have the single ones. We also have a gentle map bake but these three here genesis 8.18 8 and 3 they've been added by this product so that is essentially what these scripts dial in but on genesis 8.1 characters they do other things as well like swap out the facial texture and all that and the developer recommends to use the scripts rather than swap the uv sets around there's one other thing that i wanted to bring to your attention this product also has a comprehensive pdf manual that sadly doesn't appear with the product so sometimes there's an icon that you double click and then you know the pdf gets open but sadly that is not the case with this product but i'll be sure you where that is just in case you need it so in install manager this is how i've installed it on the install tab here i'm going to go and search for legacy and here it is, the legacy UV sets. On this little arrow icon here, if I click on that, there's a show installed files option. You can just about see that. If I click that, then I get a list of everything that has been installed with this product. And if you browse through that, somewhere at the bottom, you can find that it's in fact in the readme's legacy UVs for Genesis 9 user guide. If you click this file, then the PDF will open and you can have a look at it. So this is the location, double click that PDF. And then with your favorite PDF reader, you can go and read all about it. Yeah, it's one of those things. Sometimes it's really helpful to have that as a double click in a product, but uh, not every developer does. And this is a way for you to get access to these things should they exist with the product. That is basically how it works. I've tried this out with Genesis 3 as well as 8 as well as 8.1, and it hasn't let me down. I actually, thank you so much to Cayman Studios for bringing me on the right track with something that happened with an 8.1 character that just didn't want to work and uh, he's just sorted that out for me. Let's try this again with the Genesis 3 character. I just wanted to show you what can happen and also give you a tip on how to fix that. So here's Rune. She's based on Genesis 3 and I've given her the all maps, which is also a hierarchical material preset. So I'm going to have to go and save that out again as a regular material preset. Rune mat. There we go. Let's go save everything out. And then do exactly what we did before, hide Rune or delete her out, bring our Genesis figure back, and then go and run our preparation script first. There we go. This now also goes and selects some other bits and pieces. Make sure not to unselect any of these things. So leave everything there selected, and then go and double click Rune, and that'll apply that material preset to our Genesis figure. That doesn't look so good. And now logic dictates we're going to go and apply the Genesis 3 UVs with a green icon. So click that and we'll see something doesn't quite work out. Like there's still white strips here. And if you look closely, the lips aren't exactly on the lips and things look kind of weird, but they also kind of work. So what's going on there? Well, we don't do this anymore so much with the Genesis 8 characters, but back in the day of Genesis 3 and 2 and before that, many characters came with their own UV sets. So some characters like Rune or the Girl or Gia, they all came with a slightly different UV set and that deviated a little bit from the base Genesis UV set. Let me show you this. If I go and just hide Genesis 9 and bring back the original Rune and select her on the Surfaces tab, under surfaces, let me type in UVs again, and then we're going to go and see that the UV set is in fact Rune 7. But there are some other bits and pieces here like Gia and Lilith, and there's also the base female. So if I were to set this onto the base female, then Rune wouldn't quite work as well as I would expect. And that is a limitation of the fact that, well, Rune's just made with a different UV set. And the Legacy UVs product has been made to acknowledge the regular base female UV set. So the way around this is to use a built-in tool in Dash Studio called the Map Transfer Tool that can transfer a texture set from one UV set 
to another. So in my case, I could go and transfer Rune 7 to the regular base female UV set, then save the material preset, and then let the legacy UVs product do the conversion. I'm not going to show you the process in this video, but there is a video that I'm going to link to in the description that shows you exactly how to do that. Just in case you're curious and you already know about map transfer, you just want to kick it off. And as a quick reminder, it's on the surfaces tab. You right click on this and you launch it from here. That's how you set up your templates. And then you're going to go and convert the textures and that'll lead to a rune version that can be used with the regular base female UV set. That's just something to be aware of. Also, one other thing I wanted to bring to your attention. These days we don't really do this anymore, but back in the day, drawn on eyebrows were big and most materials come with a drawn on eyebrows. But nowadays we have these attachments that look much, much better in the render. Sometimes you'll find that characters come with two versions, one with the drawn on eyebrows and some without. So you can go and switch and swap. If you do have such an option, I strongly recommend that you load the material preset that comes without the drawn on eyebrows brass. If you do not have that, you can either utilize a tool like Photoshop and just go and use a healing brush over those, or you use one of those clever products that is available from Zevo that's called the Brow Remover here by Zevo and Dragonstorm. That's a product that lets you remove the eyebrows from texture sets that do have them literally by just drawing over them, clicking a button, and then that's taking care of that. And you have a texture set that doesn't have eyebrows. Just in case you need that, works with literally any figure generation you can think of works with the generation 4, Genesis, Genesis 2, 3, as well as 8. That was it. I hope this was helpful. If you do have any questions, then leave them down below in the comments. There's also a forum link that I will leave in the description where you can ask Cayman Studios any questions that you have or any issues that you encounter. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.